hi and uh, welcome to my channel uh, once again and in this video i'm going to show you how you are going to install photosim virtual collector on uh, vmware workstation pro and be able to integrate and register it with a photosim um, supervisor so as to collect logs and uh, you know transfer it to the supervisor for uh, processing and analy analytics yeah the requirement uh, minimum requirement for installing photosim virtual collectors on vm um, you need to have a minimum of uh, four virtual cores and uh, a minimum of uh, eight gig uh, eight gigabytes of ram i would use eight gigabytes of RAM, which is recommended and the minimum of four virtual cores for this installation then <clears throat> I also need a minimum of 25 gig for the operating system and also for the opt disk you need 100 gig so let's go ahead so the first thing you do is to go to your support portal support.fortinet.com and install and download the OBA file so when you get to so login you should have opened or registered an account on support.fortinet.com so on the support portal go to support firmware download then so here click on the drop down look for photosim Then under for the same, you see download, click on download, then 7.0, 7.3, 7.32, which is the latest. And let's download the all-in-one ESXi just for our device. So, so click on the HTTPS. Um, navigate to where the photo same um, image is that you downloaded earlier uh, double click it and import it on the VMware Workstation Pro Our four virtual calls that we're going to be using then we need to put um add uh, additional uh, disk for the uh for the sda uh to be 100 gig uh, so that the event can be passed successfully then um using that then click ok now we can start the the VM center so you'll be required to change the password from the default password so you can give it your own uh, password make sure you remember the password So the next thing is to uh, go to CD uh, to the bin directory, so we can be able to launch the config uh, wizard. So use this command to log uh, to launch the config uh, wizard. Select yes. Um, choose a time zone and your country uh, time zone then uh, select collector and install without fips then uh, select next next uh, next 
choose IPv4, then give it an IP address, I use dot 230, then I also include my DNS, which is 10.15.13.20, and a public DNS, which is 8.8.8.8, .8 .8 .8. then click next. Then uh, make sure that you have the fourth uh, collector uh, IP address registered on the DNS, so you can be able to you can be able to resolve resolve it. So the the IP address will be resolvable to the FQDN that we are going to set here. So on my DNS, I already have uh, FSM underscore collector as uh, the dot 230 and you can see my uh, photo sim ip uh, dns as fsm uh, which is 222 so um i'll give the fqdn fsm underscore collector dot uh, cyberpoint.com next enter then next now then run it so we would allow this to run it will take time uh by the end uh, at the end of the whole installation it will bring out a prompt which is installation successful and it's going to reboot ensure that all this take place So SSH, we need to uh, SSH into the uh, collector now uh, using PuTTY uh, 10.15.13.230 that we just set up. Then um, log in with the root and the password that you set up. Then we need to uh, run this command in order to register it with the photo sim. Um, so I have the command in my note pad. So let's run this command um, and add the admin is the username uh, for the photo sim and the password of the photo sim itself. Then we have the IP address of the photo sim as a supervisor. The super is the organization and uh, F F FSM collector uh, was the one we set up initially. So if you could go to admin uh, setup and uh, collector. Uh, we added new and you see the name we gave it is uh, fourth same collector uh, guaranteed eps 500 up, uh, upload rate limit and eps 2000 and uh, we save so using that parameter uh, in here so uh, we copy this and we paste it on the uh fourth uh, on the fourth same collector that we um, ssh in and we can see that we've been able to successfully register the 40 same uh collector uh virtual collector uh with the system so if you go to um admin else and collector else you'll see that the fourth sim has been successfully integrated it's still at a critical um, stage the status is going to change later to um normal so um if you come to cmdb no um let's go to admin and under X collector you'll see that we have um our X collector installed and the state else is normal and we can see that we have all you no know, event passers you no know, coming through them. Okay, we've seen all this. Then when you come come to incidences, you would see all the events being sent uh from 
Ubuntu server, you can see Linux file contains Ubuntu discovery via built in system network and connections. As per security, under security, we have all these agents file. This is file integrity monitoring being sent from the Linux server. So we have uh, successfully installed and integrated uh, the, the Linux server up to photosim and is getting you know uh logs and events from the photosims are from the linux server